Hello. In this video, we are talking about the preparation of carbon for oxide, what we normally know as carbon dioxide. Before we start, let's try and um, label the parts of this setup. So we have this flask with the base being flat. It is called the flat bottomed flask. Then we have it um, corked using a rubber band. So this is called a cork. Then we have this funnel with a very long base called the thistle funnel. We also have this tube connecting the round bottom flask, uh, sorry, the flat bottom flask to the jar over here. And this tube is what we call delivery tube. Of course, this jar contains only gases, so we call it the gas jar. It is used to collect only gases. In the preparation of carbon four oxide, what we need is a carbonate. We also need an acid. So when a carbonate reacts with an acid, we are going to form a salt, water, and release a gas. And that gas is what we call carbon four oxide. So in the flat bottom flask, in the flat bottom flask, we have these round round substances over there. It could be it could be solid particles or it could be granular form as in powdered form. We have these round round sub, uh, substances in the flat bottom flask. And these round substances will be our carbonates. For the sake of this example, we are going to use calcium carbonates. It is normally called marble chips. It looks like stones. In fact, very much like so. The chippings that they put on the ground during road construction. That is how the calcium carbonate looks like. Then in our thistle panel, we are going to pour in our acid. For the sake of this experiment, we are going to use dilute hydrochloric acid. So, we take a flat bottom flask, then we pour our calcium carbonate inside. We cork it. We use the cork with two holes inside. So, in one of the holes, we are going to fix our textile funnel. In the other hole, we are going to fix our delivery tube and connect it to our gas jar. Then, we will pour our dilute hydrochloric acid into the textile funnel. Immediately, it comes into contact with our marble chips. A further sense will be observed. A further sense is like when you have um, um, when you have Martin's liver salt and you add water to it. You see the way it looks like it is boiling, but it's not boiling because it's not on fire. That production of gas that comes up like that is what we call effervescence. So you hear the shh sound. Uh -huh. And that tells you that a gas is being produced. But as a gas is being produced, the gas would want to escape. There is nowhere for you to escape through unless to pass through our delivery tube and end up in our gas 
jar, which is also cup, to prevent the escape of the gas. That is how the gas is prepared. First question. What kind of carbonates can we use for this experiment? You can use any carbonate at all you want. So you can use calcium carbonate, which we are using for this experiment. You can use magnesium carbonate. You can use sodium carbonate. You can use sodium bicarbonate also known as baking soda. You can also use copper 2 carbonate, etc. Any carbonate at all, with the exception of this one. Try also carbonate for acid. In fact, this one is an acid. So when it reacts with another acid, it will be a reaction between an acid and an acid. So apart from this, all other carbonates are fit for this experiment. What about the acids? You can use hydrochloric acid. You can use sulfuric acid, also known as tetraoxosulfate 6 acid. You can also use nitric acid, also known as trioxonitrate 5 acid. You can even use organic acids like ethanoic acid for this experiment. So you can use any of the acids for this experiment. So in our example, what is the balanced equation for the reaction? The balanced equation is calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid going to form calcium chloride, water, and our carbon four oxide, carbon dioxide, the gas we are trying to prepare. That is the balance, uh, that is not balanced, right? So let's try and balance it. Eh? Um, we have two hydrogens here, we have one here, two chlorines here, we have one here, so we can put two in front here, making the equation balanced. How is this carbon dioxide gas collected? Remember in our previous video about the preparation of hydrogen gas, we said that uh, we can collect the gas through water by either the upward or the downward delivery approach. So we said we can collect the gas either through water or by the upward delivery method or by the downward delivery method. And whether upward or downward depended on the molar mass of the gas. And whether we pass it through water or not, also we said depends on the solubility of the water, uh, gas in water. If the gas is soluble in water, we can collect it over water. Okay, so with the mode of collection of this gas, we said we have either the upward delivery or the downward delivery. And that one depends on the molar mass of the gas. If you remember correctly, in our video about the preparation of hydrogen gas, I gave you a clue that if the molar mass of the gas we are preparing is less than 28.8, we would collect that gas by the upward delivery method. All because so that means the gas is lighter than air. However, if the molar mass is greater than 28.8, the gas is heavier or denser than water, so it can be collected by the downward delivery method. 
So, over here, carbon dioxide has a molar mass of around 44 gram per mole. And if its molar mass is 44 gram per mole, its molar mass is definitely bigger than 28.8. So it will be collected by the downward delivery method, meaning the gas is heavier than air. So if we have air and carbon dioxide produced at the same time in this, so if we have carbon dioxide produced in this container, which also has air inside, what will happen is the carbon dioxide being heavier will sink to the bottom of the container while the air, which is lighter, will stay up. So we also call the downward delivery method upward displacement of air. Meaning the gas is so heavy it will sink and let air stay up. So, upward displacement of air. If the gas is lighter than air, that means air is heavier. So, the air will go down and the gas will stay up. So, this upward delivery method is also called the downward displacement of air and for this gas we are going to collect it by the up the downward delivery or the upward displacement of air that is how we are going to collect this gas whenever you are using calcium carbonate for the preparation of carbon dioxide gas please make sure you do not use sulfuric acid. When sulfuric acid reacts with calcium carbonate, we are going to form calcium sulfate, water, and carbon dioxide. But immediately the calcium sulfate is formed, it covers all the calcium carbonate. So the remaining portions of the acid that is supposed to react with the calcium carbonate would not get access to the calcium carbonate. So the production of that gas will cease. As such, we do not use sulfuric acid and calcium carbonate to produce hydrogen gas, uh, carbon dioxide gas. What we can use is either hydrochloric acid, nitric acid with a calcium carbonate. You could use sulfuric acid for magnesium carbonate, sodium carbonate, or any other carbonates for that matter, but never with calcium carbonate. Because when you use it for it, you are going to produce carbon dioxide in very small quantities, and the production will stop after some time. How do we test for this carbon dioxide gas. How do we know the gas we have produced in our gas jar is carbon dioxide? What you do is you pass the gas through lime water. Lime water is different from lime juice. Lime water is calcium hydroxide. So those of you thinking lime water is the juice found in lime or lemon, please. That one is lime or lemon juice. Lime water is calcium hydroxide. And when you pass carbon dioxide through a solution of calcium hydroxide, that solution will turn milky or chalky. And that will tell you the gas you've produced is carbon dioxide. That is how we test for the gas. So when you sit for WASI, integrated science, they could bring this diagram and they would ask you to label the parts. The other thing they can ask you about is the balanced chemical equation for the reaction. They could also ask you to mention two substances that you can combine to produce this carbon for oxide. And when they ask for that, you have these carbonates and any of these acids. 
However, do not talk about calcium carbonate and sulfuric acid. And I've explained why. They could also ask you, how is the gas collected and why? The gas is collected by the downward delivery method, or you can choose to call it the upward displacement of air. And the reason is that carbon four oxide or carbon dioxide is denser or heavier than air. The last question they can ask you is about how to test for the gas. And we are saying you do so by passing the gas through lime water. And when you do that, the lime water will turn milky or chalky. Now go to the past question. When you see any question concerning the preparation of carbon dioxide, try answering that question with these things you've learned today. Thank you.